I just bought every single folding smartphone, starting with the cheapest at around $200, all the way to the most expensive at $2,000. So let's start with the cheapest first. The first folding smartphone we have is the Galaxy Z Flip 3. This was one of the first folding smartphones to come out. That's why it's the cheapest. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Dude, I don't understand. I remember these used to be like $1,000. Now we bought it on back market for 200 bucks. It is the gorgeous purple color. So nice. And on this one, the Z Flip, which is super cool. It has the little screen on the front. Something about like a mini screen on the back. It just gets me for some reason. I don't know why. I also am a big fan of this color. I think it is really pretty. Okay, so here is our... I have to say, it is nice. It is a super cool phone. I love that it's... Like all I want to do is just fold it and then open it and then fold it. We have to try one of the coolest features on the folding phone, the camera. Let's try the hand-free photo option with a fold. Having a folding phone, there's no point unless you fold it to take a picture. Like let's say we're making like a TikToker, TikToker, a little renegade. We wouldn't even have to hold the phone. It's, it's really, really good. good. What's up? No, I don't. I don't want to talk right now. I have to go. Look at this, you can literally just download themes and now like everything matches. Look at this! And then check this out, check this out, check this out. Now it's pink. Something about being able to change this screensaver makes me so happy. <laughs> Overall, this is probably one of the best holding phones that are out there just because it's the cheapest option. I love this one, it is so cute. I give this one a 9 out of 10. It needs a little bit of work. Overall, solid holding phone. Next up we have the V60 ThinQ with the dual screen. This together was $300 and it's actually not a folding phone. It is, but you have to buy it Separately. So here is our phone that we bought. It's an LG phone. Okay, it looks pretty nice. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. It's like a pink and the blue color. And there she goes. So the coolest part is if you're on a budget and you want a folding phone, that is where this attachment comes in. You put it in the little case. It's just such a dad phone though. Like only dads have phones that like, this looks kind of cool, bro. This literally looks so high tech. Even the way this sounds, sounds like a dad phone. Here is our first folding phone, and it is pretty much a normal phone with dual. Oh, what? Apple, I have a word with you. Why don't you have anything cool like this? Literally, there's a screen that shows you the time on the front part, and then when you open it, you have two screens. It's like, why would I not want two screens? It's like a book. Oh, don't worry, I'm reading a book. Where has this been my whole life? We can watch YouTube on one side, take a selfie on the other one at the same time. And the camera's not bad. Oh gosh, I look like a dork. Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. So this is our first folding phone. And I have to tell you, this camera looks crazy. For $300, this is actually insane. I know it's technically not a folding phone, rather a phone and a folding case, but look at the capabilities of this. So let's go ahead and push our limit and see if we can play Roblox on one side and watch YouTube YouTube on the other. Okay, so here we are. Shut up. This is like every kid's dream. Yeah. What is Apple doing, bro? We're watching YouTube and then we're playing Roblox and it's actually working so smooth. This is absolutely absurd. I don't even know what to tell you guys. This is only $300. This is kind of a W. We could like Amazon shop, Amazon shopping while we're using the calculator so we can calculate how much we're spending. I give this a big 10 out of 10. If you're looking for a folding phone and you're on a budget, the next one we have is the Microsoft Surface Duo. This one is about $400, so still not super cheap, but for a folding phone, it's pretty good. Oh, okay, so here she is. Oh my gosh, this one is so tiny. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. It's like Oh my gosh. This might be the coolest thing I've ever freaking touched. Inside the box, we have a charger. So it comes with a little case. This is the future of cases, I guess. I just can't comprehend, like you can't even see through the screen how thin this thing is. Like it is actually like a paper. It's light, it's thin, and it folds backwards for freaking crying out loud. Okay, so I found a problem. It's a little weird to type on like a whole like iPad device. Like, let's just, Fold it in half. Now we have a normal phone. We need to like come to a decision in the comments down below. Are folding phones cool or are they dorky? You can't tell if this is like the coolest thing ever. Like if someone pulls up to you, they're like, what's up? Can I like, can I get your number? Like is that cool or is that dorky? I don't, I don't really know yet. Here is our Microsoft Surface. This thing is so high tech looking. It's a piece of paper pretty much. It folds backwards, it folds forward. Although out of the folding phones, this one does have a little crack in the middle. Crack. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm very curious to see what the camera looks like on this thing. Pretty solid. This is the video mode. Literally hands-free. I'm starting to feel like all the cameras are pretty good. Like none of these cameras are actually bad. What does a microphone sound like though? Probably not that good. Dude, I just can't comprehend the fact that we're able to do two things at the same time. We can watch Sarah Grace vlogs on one side and then follow Sarah Grace on Instagram on the other side. My attention span is so low that like I can be watching the video and then in the second I get bored, I can be like, let me do something else. It's so light, it's so compact, it was affordable. I'm a fan. I don't even know what to say. This is a 10 out of 10, bro. Next up, we have the Galaxy Fold. This one was $500 and Galaxy is white, honestly, probably most ahead than all the other brands. They were the first one to come up with the folding phone. We bought this one on back market, refurbished, so it's not brand new. Inside the box, a charger. This is our Galaxy Z Fold. Okay, I feel like this is kind of cool. <sighs> I don't know if you guys agree with me, but oh my god. I feel like every single one has something different and cool about it. So this one is super cool because it has a full screen in the front, and then it also is like a giant iPad, and there's no like gappage like some of the other ones. The other ones were just pretty much two screens. This is like one screen altogether. This is such a skinny phone. <laughs> Why is it so skinny? They're all so cool, but so goofy at the same time. Oh my gosh, this is just too small to type on. Why don't I just... Open it up. This one's cool because it separates the keyboard a little bit for you. I think all of the cameras overall have been super good. This is so epic. What other phone can you do this on? Man, this is nice. And then I wonder what happens when you fold it. <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. Such a small screen. Overall, this phone is pretty cool too. I feel like there is some stuff that it could work on, but it was pretty affordable and I do love that it folds. I give this one overall probably like a seven out of 10. Next up, we have one of the newer folding phones, Motorola. Motorola wanted to take their try at the folding phone. Let's see what this is about. This is definitely getting into the more expensive territory. This Motorola Razor Plus was a thousand dollars. It better be better than the rest of the ones that we just got. My expectations are up here. Inside the box, we have chargers. I'm so sick and tired of chargers. Here is our Motorola Razor Plus. Oh, oh. Okay, Motorola. I see you out here with a little shiny little blue, a shiny little screen, and a two little cameras right there. Okay, let's turn it on. Dang, it literally looks like the freaking Z Flip. Like they just said, no, nope, sorry, Samsung. We're about to do it ourselves. A little bit of a copycatter move, Motorola. So this is the Motorola Razor Plus. I thought that they just copied the Galaxy Z Flip, but this is better. It has the same technology, but look at the front of this, dude. Just the time, right? Psych, check this out. It's another phone on a phone. It's literally like almost the same exact access that you'd have on your normal phone. Like there's no way you can play games on this, right? In a way. Bro, I'm playing a game on the front of my phone right now. This is fun. Oh, it's literally the cheaper version of Subway Surfer. <laughs> it's called Tiger Run. <laughs> Not even a little bit impressed. I'm a lot impressed with this one. Let's go ahead and check out the camera though. I feel like one thing Motorola has never been able to get down is the camera. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can't tell if I hate this or love this. Although it looks cool and it looks crispy, like it's so vibrant. Like it's almost overly vibrant. Like look at these bombastic side eyes. Do I like this or do I hate this? I can't. Let me know in the comments down below. Do y'all think this looks cool? I love it. Let's take some photos, hands free, shall we? Z Flip who? I love this. I might actually like this camera more than my iPhone. Okay, that's, that's a jump. I think iPhone will always have a better camera than anybody else, but for some reason this looks so pretty. I love the colors on this. Is Apple like not cool anymore? This camera looks insane. Oh, oh my God. We're taking a video and you can see I can see myself on the back of the phone. Shut up, it's not following me, right? All right I'm gonna jump. Slow motion video. So much fun with this. I, I I think I'm in love. I think I found my new love. It's this Motorola. <laughs> so you can like change the little wallpapers on here and everything. Oh, so cute. I know these are way prettier than Apple's. What is Apple on, bro? What are they on? I can't talk trash. That's literally my whole channel. <laughs> 
but it might be my favorite one we've unboxed so far. Look at this. Obviously, you can't use all of your apps, but you can play a couple games. You can have shortcuts to your calendar. You can do your messages on here. Obviously, I feel like this keyboard is not ideal for like texting, but if you just want to be like, hey, what up? I think we're gonna have to do a giveaway of one of the folding phones. I'm like absolutely obsessed with this thing. I think this is the best phone we have so far. Obviously, it was a $1,000, but it's just so fun. Like, I just can't stop folding it. I just want to fold it. Motorola, I give this one a 10 out of 10. I really like it. It's just high tech looking. Oh, it's just so pretty to look at. Like, what is that? I don't even know where that's from. That's not from this world. Okay, I'm being dramatic. I'm gonna take it down and watch it. Okay, this next folding phone was $1,600. So we're getting into the heavy duty stuff. I've never unboxed a phone in a whole like case like this. So this better be the best thing I've ever seen in my life. The Oppo Find N2. Okay, okay. Hey. Here's our phone. I've never heard of this brand before in my life, but it was expensive and it better be good. Oh, the Oppo. The Oppo. I can't tell if this one looks really high tech or not that high tech because like, I don't know, like I guess seeing any phone is just like, whoa, like this is just so cool. However, this is kind of looking like a Galaxy Z Fold, but like worse. Whoa, whoa. It got me with the cool little wallpaper. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay, why is everything in Chinese? I can't understand. We have a Chinese keyboard. W. I don't really know where this phone came from. I don't I don't know who invented it. It's got me hooked. I'm looking at this thing like, what happens when we fold? Oh, oh, oh my God, do you see that? It's like folding in. The, like, look at the screensaver. Like, for what? Like, why are you that extra? And this is what our front looks like. Dude, it's so cute. It's like so miniature. If you're like a big fan of like smaller phones, this one is kind of a W. It's small and little, and then you're like, oh, like, you know what? I kind of want to watch Air Grace on YouTube. Bang, which brings us to the next segment, watching Sarah Grace on YouTube. So this one was one of the more expensive ones that we bought today, so I'm expecting the camera to be iPhone quality. Okay, what the? Dude, I swear, these phones from China always like have weird face features on me. Like, I don't look like that. I don't look like that. Like, it makes my face so skinny and my eyes so big. Before, after. China just called me ugly 10 different ways. They said, your skin needs help, your cheeks need help, your cheeks should be skinnier. Oh my God, this is just funny. I look like a bug. Skin texture, I don't want any skin texture. Eye size, I want the biggest eyes. Nose, I don't want a nose. Why should I have a nose? Chin, who needs her? Head, shoot. I don't need a head either. Do you look good? Do you think I look pretty? Now I'm finally beautiful. Oh my god, this is so dumb. Let's let's put on natural again. I need to accept this crustiness on this phone. The only thing that's throwing me off about this camera is that the camera's up here. So like when I'm looking at myself, it just looks kind of whack. Why did they put the beauty back on me? They're like put the put the filter back on. Put the filter back on. So let's go ahead and try the coolest part of having a folding phone. Let's take a video where we fold it. Here is the folding phone video. It's recording itself. How do we feel about it? Does it look crispy? Does it look good? Wait, why does that video look so good? Oh, this is an expensive phone and I just dropped it. Dude. So here is the folding phone. It looks so crispy. How do we feel about it? Does it look crispy? Does it look healthy? Good job. What is that? <laughs> this thing is cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is it the best one we've had so far? Definitely not. I think this one definitely has its flaws. I mean, the screen looks amazing. I am really starting to regret spending $1,600 on this phone because it is cool, but this phone was made in China. It doesn't work, to say the least. If I wanna download a game, everything's in Chinese. If I want to try to make an account, it says they can't text my number. It's in the US. Right. There's actually nothing I can do with this phone, but I can't really test much of it out other than like maybe the calculator because it's just very buggy and it doesn't work but hey look we can do 12 plus 12 definitely a hard pass the software that it's running is just pretty whack it was definitely not worth sixteen hundred dollars all that with this stupid big fancy box doesn't even work. Next up, at a whopping $2,000, we have the Google Pixel Fold. This is by far the newest Fold phone that came out, and they don't even have it available. I had to buy it on eBay off of somebody else, but this is it. Ooh. Okay, okay, so far, pretty good. Inside the box, we have a charger. You're a hater. I'm being a hater, because every single time I open the box, I expect something fun in there. It's just a charger. So what the back looks like, very clean, very crispy, very Google, you know, look at it. Ooh. <laughs> crispy. So here is our gift. Here is our Google Pixel Fold. So far, it's nice. It is a really nice looking phone. I mean, the graphics on the screen look insanely crispy. I'm not a professional by any means on graphics and stuff like that, but all I know is the screen looks pretty. However, I do feel like on the inside, out of all the folding phones, this one kind of has like the biggest crease. Like you can tell super obviously where the crease is. I don't know why that is, because this was the most expensive one. So shouldn't it be like the best? One thing we need to try is YouTube on this one, because this screen is massive. Two 
my favorite place ever. Wait, why does the audio sound so bad? So excited, absolutely love it. And if is it just me or is this kind of mint? Let's watch something that gives it the most potential 8K video. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> what are we watching right now? <laughs> I actually think, I don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm just watching this elephant. Okay, speakers are alright. They're alright. We're chilling vibing right now. I don't know, I kinda like it. Let's go ahead and try out our camera. This is the normal camera. This is the inside camera. Again, with the freaking making my face all weird. And now let's try the back camera. See yourself. So that's a horrible picture. Show <laughs> that one again. Much better, much better. How is that? How is that the same person? How is that the same person? <laughs> no comment on this one. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Yes. <laughs> They're all starting to look the same. Let's just watch TikTok. It's kind of basic. Kinda it's lame. It, there's nothing too special about it. I mean, it's a good looking phone. I'm not mad about it. But it was so expensive. For what? Oh. The other screen is just like popped out more. Yeah, I feel like this one just doesn't pop as much as the other ones. I'm not a big like the megapixels, but this one just looks kind of dull to be honest with you. Like it doesn't look like epic. The graphics on the screen look insanely crispy. Okay, so we're on TikTok. <laughs> now we watch- That's me! I popped up on you! How do we watch these for so long, bro? Like, you just sit here watching me. This is so dumb. Okay, what am I doing in my life? <laughs> Get it together. I'm unimpressed. Maybe I'm a hater. Maybe I'm just salty because this was expensive. I don't know. I just don't think it's as good as the other one. That would be buying every single folding smartphone. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to win any of these for a giveaway. Which one was your favorite? Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.